This is section 9.7a, and it's one of my favorite sections because we get to do some special cases and some shortcuts. Our shortcuts today come back to foiling when we had a plus b, the quantity squared. If you remember, it was the first one squared, the last one squared, and double the middle two. The middle follows the sign of what's in the parentheses. So here we have a minus 2ab and a minus a minus b squared. So our shortcut then has to follow. If the first and the last are perfect squares, it hopefully is going to follow the pattern, x and 4. Now the question is, 4 times x is 4x, doubled is 8x. Because that's a minus there, we need to make sure that this is a minus there. So we should say really x minus 4 squared. I guess you could say plus or minus, but I, really it's better to be written as x minus 4. Look at our next one. The first is a perfect square, and the last is a perfect square. So our answer is x plus 6 squared. It's a plus because the 12 is a plus as well. We look at our next one. 25 is 5 squared. That's x squared. The middle is a minus. And so it's x minus 5, and double 5, and you get 10. Let's move down. x and 1, the middle's a minus, and so that's a minus. x minus 1 squared, and 1 times x is 1x, double is 2x. This only works if the middle term is double and the back's a perfect square. Now sometimes you're going to have problems where the front number might be squared as well. In this case, it's very straightforward. 4 is a perfect square, 9 is a perfect square, so that's 2x and 3 with a plus in the middle. 2 times 3 is 6, doubled is 12. So 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. Look at our next one. 3x and 5. The middle is a minus, so 2 times 3 times negative 5 is negative 30. So that works. Let's look at our next one. These are pretty quick. 100 is a perfect square. 49 is a perfect square. The middle is a plus, so that's a plus. 2 times 10 times 7 is 140, so that works. 81 is 9x. 1 is 1, obviously. And 9 times 1 times 2 is your 18. This is concludes page 1 of section 9.7.